Okay, so I've got the stock in to cut a kit of parts for Rocket. Um, we've got some Sapili boards there, which are going to make up the frames. Uh, we've got our plywood, which is going to be the gussets and the skins of the boat. I've got uh, Robin's Elite Marine Ply for that. And then some sheets of MDF, which are going to be all the form parts for the boat. So the constructional legs and the moulds and things like that. As you might have heard me say in the plans video, the frame parts are all nested onto 610 mil panels uh, and that means that you can either cut them from a full sheet of plywood by putting them side by side or you can cut them from solid timber panels. Uh, what I'm going to do here is glue up 600 mil Sapili panels and cut two of them side by side on the machine. Uh, interestingly it was actually cheaper to buy these solid Sapili boards than it was um, an 18 mil marine plywood of the same thickness. So if you're looking to build one of these, it's probably worth just getting the two priced up because a solid wood frame is going to be a far better option. Um, and as I say, it actually turned out cheaper than the, the marine ply. So that was quite interesting, that. Also a sheet of melamine-faced MDF. So this is going to be the frame construction board. Uh, this wasn't actually shown in the original plan set. This is a new thing that I've added. Um, so I'll show you how that works when we get to that. Um, so this is this is a board basically for gluing up the frames of the boat and it's going to help you align everything. Um, the idea for making it from melamine is that it's going to be nice and easy to keep clean. So when you've got glue on there and stuff, this will wipe clean nice and easily. Uh, it's also very clear to see the engraving, as you'll see when I start to cut that. It comes out really sharply. So that's first on the machine. Um, we'll get that one set up and running. So this is engraving the frame construction board and I'm just using a 90 degree V-carving bit for this. So now I'm cutting the alignment holes and I'm just using a straight fluted uh, quarter inch bit. Ok so that's the frame construction board finished, you can see there's a carving process that does all the numbering for the holes and the text and there's a hole process as well which is where all the dowels will sit. I'll go through uh, how this is actually used in the next video where I show you how to put all the parts together. So we're on to the 6mm ply sheets now, this will form the sides of the boat, uh, there's three sheets all together and I'm um, just going to cut those. Uh, same cutter again, I'm going to use the straight fluted quarter inch bit. I'm not going to engrave the part labelling on these sheets because they're pretty easy to identify so we'll just do the profile cuts. Uh, I'm going to be holding these down with the vacuum bed as well so there's no bridges or anything on the parts. They'll just be held in place by the vacuum. So uh, we'll get started on the first of those. So that's all the side part pieces cut, 
you can see you've got a forward, middle and aft part for each side and the dovetail system there that joins them together so uh, I'll go over how those are joined in the next video when we do all the assembly uh, next we're on to the 9mm sheet supply they're going to be cut in the same way on the vacuum hold down uh, the only difference is this time I'm going to engrave the parts because there's quite a lot of parts on the 9mm sheets so that will just help identify what's what when they come off the machine So that's the first sheet of 9mm cut, uh, I actually decided to add some little bridges into the parts um, just because when it cut that first gusset over there it broke loose because uh, these are quite small parts they don't always hold on the vacuum so well so a couple of little bridges in there that just hold the part in place and keep everything from moving around too much whilst cutting uh, so they'll just need to be trimmed off sometimes they'll break actually quite easily See, so you've just got those little parts to trim out there. That'll be fine. So that's the first sheet of 9mm. We'll uh, get that cleared off the machine and get on with the second one. So that's the last of the 9mm ply sheets cut. Next we're on to the 18mm MDF sheets. So there's two of those that make up all the form parts of the boat for alignment and things like that and the jigs. I'm going to cut those with the same cutters again, so the 90 degree V carving bit for marking the parts and then the straight fluted quarter inch bit as well. They'll be cut in the same way using the vacuum bed to hold the board down and uh, we'll just put some little bridges on the pieces as well just because there's fairly small bits included in this one and it should stop anything from moving around. So that's the second of the MDF sheets cut. You can see you've got all the frame support legs here and the keel forms as well. You can see the dovetail system there of how they join together and all the part marking as well. So all these part references are in the drawings and they will correspond to a support for each frame so you'll be able to work out where they go. I'll go through all of that in the assembly video when I show you how it all goes together. There's the first of the Sapili panels glued up, so you can see I've machined two boards down to 305 wide, so we'll get a 610 solid Sapili panel. I've machined the rest of the boards down to size as well, so they're ready for gluing up next. Uh, and once that glue's dried, I'll just run them through the planer and take them down to 18mm, and we'll be ready to machine those parts. So the machine's set up ready to do the first Sapili board. Um, you can actually cut two of these side by side because they're sized so that they'll fit on the machine like that but I'm just going to do them one at a time because it gives a bit more room to get the uh, hold down clamps in place and uh, everything positioned properly. So there's four of these boards all together. Um, the first one has the dash positioned on the bottom left hand side so it's probably worth just picking out a piece that's got a nice bit of grain 
you see I've picked this board because it's quite nice so um, that bit will end up being your dashboard before you get these sheets cut it might just be worth considering getting the dashboard modified to take all your gauges and everything like that so um, you can get those cutouts done at the same time which will save you having to modify it later on so it's probably worth thinking about that before you get this board cut um, I'm just going to cut a blank dash for now and on the plans it's just got a hole which is a kind of recommended location for the steering position but you can fit the dash either way around so you can change it from port to starboard steering whatever you prefer so there's going to be an engraving process again for part marking I've left that off the dash as well so it can be fitted both ways around without the part mark being in the middle of the dashboard um, so slightly different process it's not going to be on the vacuum hold down because that doesn't tend to work as well with solid timbers like this so everything's clamped down and we're going to be using the 90 degree V carving bit and then a slightly different compression spiral for cutting the parts so we'll get that ready to go Well I made a bit of a mess of that one, um, rather stupidly forgot to change the bit actually and ran the profile in toolpath with the V carving bit still in there so as you can see that's made a bit of a mess. Uh, what I'm going to do is just carry on and run that program anyway and I'll probably have to do a little bit of a repair to that part I expect depending on how things fall. So uh, I'll get the right bit in there and we'll try again. looks like I pretty much got away with that there's just a little gouge in the actual frame part so uh, a bit lucky there we should be able to do a little repair on that and get that sorted out which is okay so I won't do that again make sure I use the right tool next time So that's the last of the parts cut um, and everything that makes up the kit. I've got the frame construction board set up here and in the next video I'll show you how all the frames are assembled using that and go through exactly what all the parts are, how they fit together. So make sure you keep a look out for that video and uh, subscribe if you'd like to keep up to date with what I've been doing. Okay that's it for now.